We're going to switch gears here and a food crisis. Actually, uh, a food crisis looms in the country as heavy rains pounding the country's food basket region destroys crops. The region has been experiencing heavy rains for weeks now, which have greatly destroyed the crops. In Transoya, farmers are counting the losses running into millions of shillings brought about by the poor harvest incurred due to crop destruction from the erratic rains. As our very own Laura Ocheno reports, the rains have also left a trail of destruction in northeast region of Kayo, where 15 families were left homeless after the houses were ripped off. At Saboti in Transnzoya County, 38-year-old Henry Naibe is yet to come to terms with the loss he has incurred this year. His four-acre tract, which would typically yield an average 28 bags per acre, is wasted. For the five years he has ventured into commercial production of maize, this season has been the worst with a fall in maize stocks painting a picture of the nose dive his profits have taken not only for him but for hundreds of other farmers affected by the erratic rainfall patterns. <laughs> According to projections from the Department of Agriculture in Transoya County, maize harvests in 2021 will drop to 4.8 million bags from the 5.6 million bags harvested annually. According to the county, the crop failure was occasioned not only by the erratic rains, but frequent attacks from the full armyworm, calling on farmers to consider alternative crops that can withstand the extreme weather patterns. <laughs> Pia hailstones ilikuwa na hizi hailstones zilichapa mahindi sana. Na that's why tunasema tuangalie mimea ambayo haiadhiriki sana. Na pia kama kwa mimea mboga vitu kama nyanya kahawa hivi even as the loss threatens the country's food security, the national government has set aside 2.4 billion shillings to purchase relief food for 1.3 million Kenyans facing starvation. Government spokesperson Colonel Cyrus Oguna revealed that a further 380 million shillings has been released to purchase fodder for animals in arid areas, with the government intending to roll out cash transfers to Kenyans affected by drought in the next three months. <laughs> kwa moja kwa sababu miradi ya kuweza kutuma pesa moja kwa moja kwa sasa inatengenezwa kufikia disemba itakuwa tayari kwa hivyo itakuwa ile tunaita cash transfer ambapo haitakuwa ni chakula moja kwa moja tatumiwa hela wenyewe wamue kwamba watakula chakula ina gani ili wapatie huru wa kuchagua Meanwhile, in El Marakwet, one child is nursing injuries and six other families rendered homeless after their houses were ripped off by strong winds and heavy rain on Sunday morning. Confirming the incident, Area Chief Moses Barama revealed that the authorities are still assessing the damage that has left wanton destruction in the area. Laurel Tieno, Citizen TV.